Hi Taurus, welcome, welcome. I'm doing a quick reading, um, kind of a love reading. I'm doing something that I don't usually do, which is to assign um, meanings to the position of the cards, and I'm going to do something that many readers already do um, on the tube. Uh, namely, the idea is to get one card um, per position, but it's what are they feeling, why, and what are their actions towards you. I am bringing in um, an oracle card. I just bought this deck today, actually. <laughs> and it's called uh, Into the Lonely Woods. So it's a little bit, um, not gloomy, but it's <laughs> it's a little bit as if you had separated or detached from someone. It has that kind of vibe to it. But I did look at it, peruse and... and What I'm trying to get at is it, it speaks of emotions. So I really thought it would be fitting here. So let's just try this out. We're going to get one of these only. I will draw for this because they don't even pop out. Um, uh, they don't glide. I should say they don't really separate. So... When they do pop out, it's like a huge pile and it's, <laughs> it's not what I need. <laughs> what we need for you. So let's get that card. <laughs> I kid you not, I had this card in the pre-shuffle for you. In the vastness of it all. I love when that happens. Um, the card really wanted to come out for you. You know, there's another expression that says um, in the grand scheme, right? Like uh, when you think of something that doesn't really matter when, when you consider the, the, the bigger picture, right? In the grand scheme of things, that's the, the, the saying, the full saying. It feels a little bit like that. You're learning how to um, see things and you know with a different perspective for one, but also to make things relative. So let's see what the tarot says. Um, okay, so what are they feeling? Is the eight of swords? So they're very closed in, like closed off, but turned inward. So much so that they are, they're doing the, unfortunately, the, the negative thing, right, of, of, The negative thing of thinking that it's because they weren't good enough, they weren't pretty enough, handsome enough, uh, smart enough, rich enough, etc., etc. You get the point. Um, could also be that they um, they might feel some guilt, but then let's look at why I'm I'm already blurting it out but let's get the cards and see why but with this kind of attitude um obviously they're not optimistic about this relationship with you Taurus um and I would even go as far as thinking at this point there's no relationship um there's an energy of separation right Wheel of Fortune in reverse, so definitely being stuck. They're not going to act. Um, actually, let me reserve that for the action position. But the why is they're feeling the same thing. Like it wasn't their time, you know, like the timing wasn't right. Or something about timing um, created either a missed opportunity or...
we're almost like a almost like a disconnect right it's almost um how can i say this they also feel you know it's really interesting because on the eight of swords it's a ring of swords right around the person even if there's room for the person to actually leave that circle because it's not a closed circle but here we do have the wheel so the idea that things got re like turned upside down for them I think the word is reversal, right? So like a reversal of fate, a reversal of things, um, also a reversal of, that's what I mean by bad timing or something of the sort. And it's almost like this, this sensation of, how can I express this? It's very difficult. It's almost like the fact that the wheel turned downward for them and that they ended up at the bottom. Um, now the wheel, like imagine it turns like this, they go at the bottom, but now imagine it comes back on a horizontal plane, right? So the wheel is like this, it's turning, um, <laughs> it's turning like this. But now the wheel is turning like this for them because it's encircling them. That was a lot easier with the card to mimic, <laughs> to show you the movement, what I had in my mind in terms of this rotation that is basically almost like a lasso and it's like keeping them, um, cons like it's impeding um, any type of positive emotions and thoughts, actions, like there's nothing that's going to happen. This person is immobilized, imprisoned, not necessarily fully physically, but the mental prison, the emotional prison, the psychological prison. And they really don't, I don't think the why is, I don't think they feel they can turn the wheel around. You know, they, they can't go back in the past and they can't change what happened. And even in the future, um, they might base themselves on what happened, thinking that they cannot move in a different direction or, or turn the wheel differently for the future. So what will they really do? Let's see. <laughs> We might have a surprise, but I, I mean, I don't decide, the cards decide. Okay, we get a few. They came out this way, really. So we have the Empress, the Tower in Reverse, and the Five of Cups. So definitely, um, <laughs> they will avoid you, and they will create more disappointment between the two of you. Um... What's really surprising is that the Empress is here. So how I'm seeing this is avoiding growth, if you want to read it literally. But let me feel it out because I usually like to expand instead of just using the typical keywords. I'm going to associate the Empress with the word vastness because the Empress is boundless and she's, she expands and she's abundant illimitably, right? Like infinitely. So it's so, 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 so vast. Um, her love is endless. It's so, so deep. It's unconditional for one, but it also runs really deep. So, at this point, with the preceding energies of what they, how, like, yeah, how they feel at the moment, what they're feeling and why,
they can't sustain um, how can I say this? They can't sustain the Empress energy. They can't, even if they have this love for you, and if even if they have these qualities of being able to grow relationship, nurture the relationship, provide you love, care, you know, loyalty, name it. Um, they're so, um, you know, I think it's actually, I'm, I'm really going to choose the wheel. I don't think they think they can turn the wheel. And I have really the words, they can't change the past. And they don't think that you'll allow for a relationship to start with. Having had something that failed in the past or whatever happened, they feel like if they were to build on it, it wouldn't it wouldn't last. You know, like the tower wouldn't have um I know it's a tower card, so if it was upright it would be destruction, etc. But I mean if they were to build anything with you, such as a strong structure, um that it would collapse. And it's only a perception, right? It doesn't mean that it's true. You might think otherwise. You might have a different view on the, on what happened. Um, but this is how they feel, right? And it's really, they're so, so sad. Um, I think they've been sad for a long time, really. Um, because of what happened in the past, that's clearly indicated here with the wheel in reverse. And again, it's a, it's a card, you know, like, there is like hope and there are cups that are still full and it's the same energy than the Empress. I mean, there is really potential for a new start. There's potential for a great relationship. There's potential for everything that was beautiful about it. But maybe there's been too much time that has um, elapsed. Maybe there is just this, um, you know, I'm gonna say something um, about trust. Um, because at least in my eyes, in my experience, my life experience, trust is key. And if there was anything that involved a breach of trust here between the two of you, that is definitely um, one of the key factors here of why they feel um, it's irre irrecuperable. Uh, how do you say? You can't recuperate. You can't. You can't fix it. So unfortunately, their actions is to love you from afar, to avoid you, and to um, sulk. <laughs> but the silver lining for this person um, is somehow being able to look towards the future um, they, they're able to understand maybe the greater lessons of it all. Or at least uh, somehow convince themselves that, you know, in the grand scheme of things, um, this too shall pass, right? So whatever sadness that they have and disappointment, um, the wheel will turn eventually for them, uh, not for this relationship, I feel, but for them, you know, <laughs> life is constant change. All right, well, <laughs> another, um, I just did Aries, and it wasn't, uh, 
a beautiful love story. It was a little bit on the same tone here, something um, that didn't work out. So unfortunately, guys, <laughs> that's the message. But I appreciate you um, actually spent the time to watch it all. If it resonates, please um, share, uh, maybe, sorry, like, share, subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, the important thing is that you come back to the channel. So thank you again. Good night.